Recorded Bahamian history starts with a date familiar to many of us, October 12, 1492. Christopher Columbus made landfall in the New World on an island in the Bahamas that he named San Salvador. Neither Columbus nor the explorers who followed him ever found gold or riches in the islands. European settlers first came to the Bahamas in 1648, but the late 17th century found the Bahamas full of pirates such as Edward Teach, Blackbeard, and Henry Morgan. The British managed to bring the islands under control by hanging many of the pirates, and the Bahamas became a colony of Great Britain in 1728. The islands are still part of the British Commonwealth of Nations, and British culture and traditions are seen in Nassau. There is a statue of Queen Victoria in front of the Bahamian Parliament, and the Queen's staircase was built to honour Queen Victoria's 65-year reign. Edward, the Duke of Windsor, who abdicated the throne of England for the woman he loved, was governor of the Bahamas from 1940 to 1945. Since the Bahamas are so close to the United States, they have played an interesting role in the history of this country. In fact, the Americans captured Nassau and held it for two weeks during the Revolutionary War. The Bahamas also were involved with the United States during two storied eras of our past, gun running during the Civil War and rum running during Prohibition. The relationship between the Bahamas and the United States may not be quite as exciting anymore, but Americans invade the islands each week via cruise ship or airplane bringing welcome tourism dollars into the Bahamian economy.